Hello everyone and welcome to another video. This video is a little different than my other videos, but I'm going to be showing you how to install Create Mod in Minecraft Java. Now, some things I will have to say before we start. If you're trying to do this on another device like xbox or the phone or on mobile or any any of any other device than a pc this will not work so don't waste your time here because you are using bedrock edition now the things you need is minecraft java and if you don't know what minecraft java is you can always search up a video on how to install it but it is paid so you have to understand that now create mod is not paid so we will have no issue here and i'll be showing you the easiest way to download it with no difficulties so let's go ahead and get started now once you've bought minecraft java you will need to open the three links in the dis uh, description these three links are the fabric um download the fabric api and the create fabric make sure this is fabric because if it's not this won't work now to actually figure out how to download this and use the right version you see go, go and see all of the feature versions for the create fabric and you will see the latest one which is the first one my latest for create is 1.20.1 but this could change over time maybe uh the owner could change and make 1.21 so whatever version this says you are going to have to remember mine's is 1.20.1 and you can uh, see if yours is anything different and use that version now that we're back in the minecraft launcher you will have to go to installations new installation and i am going to name mines from the version that i was using for create which is 1.20.1 1.20.1 now make sure you change this version right here to 1.20.1 and you will see I, I don't want that because this is already mine uh i had already done this but we want to go to release 1.20.1 click on it and boom here we have it now we can click create and there it is Next thing we got to do is play this right here. There will be no technical, uh, oh my God. There will be no technical difficulties. You will just easily be able to log in. Now that you have Minecraft 1.20.1 or whatever version you're using loaded, it should be looking like this for 1.20.1. And now we can exit and now you can exit the player no need of playing it and we can go on to the next step now that you've played the game all you have to do is go to the three links here and we're gonna go to the first link which is the fabric download now you see the fabric loader and we just gotta press download and download for windows it will automatically make sure if you're on mac or windows so we can go here, download for Windows, and it pops up. Now we just click it at 1.20.1, and we can now just do this. Create profile, it's fine. It doesn't really matter, but I would say keep this checked, and let's install. To worry until this pop-up comes, and Fabric Loader has been installed. After that, we can X this tab. There's no need of it anymore. Next, we'll need the this these two mods, Create Fabric and Fabric API. Now we're going to just scroll down, see all, and use the version that we had used to download Fabric. My version is 1.20.1. So you can just filter and here it is 1.20.1 fabric api this is the first fabric api you see so that's gone in now that you have your fabric api downloaded you can just x the tab 
and now we have create fabric this one whatever is the latest whatever version you use mine is 1.20.1 this is getting repeated repetitive now you can just click on it and we can press download after that my create fabric has been downloaded now that we're back in the minecraft launcher you see something in installations called fabric loader 1.20.1 this should be here if you don't see it, you must have done one of the steps wrong and you can always look back and check properly now all we have to do is go to our file explorer and now that we're at our file explorer we can go to downloads and we'll see our create fabric and fabric api all we have to do is get our fabric loader and click the folder icon this folder icon now we'll open us to somewhere here and then we just have to scroll down and click on mods now this folder will be empty but all we have to put in is our fabric api now that we've put in the fabric api all we have to put is the create fabric 2 and now these two mods are in it will usually give this error that will say hey make sure this is a um modded version this could uh not align with safety features just uh, just agree with it there's no need of doing anything about it because it they just do it for self precaution and there's no need nothing to worry about now as you can see minecraft has finally loaded and we're in mojang studios just gotta wait and now how to actually check we're in create mod you look at these little glasses click on them and you are in create mod what to do is just make sure you have this icon here or you can have a mods tab but this is the more modern version and now if you go in single player you can make anything uh, this is just like a different version so it doesn't allow it we can create a new world and you can make trains you can do whatever with create mod see a tutorial on how to use it this is an amazing mod so you can always download it and it's really good for creative creative people now if you hadn't been able to load this and it crashed you most likely had maybe done a wrong version or you forgot to open 1.20.1 before and then download the fabric but you always have to open the version before you download the fabrics version you can delete 1.20.1 yes and now we can customize the fabric loader to any mod you want which is the create mod it's like the only mod i'm gonna use as you can see i've customized this to create mod because this is the only mod i'm using and that is how you download create mod if you like this video and you want to share it to your friends please do because this could help a lot of people because many of these tutorials even from many famous youtubers like guide Realm, have not actually put this into detail so i gave my best try on the most detailed tutorial i could do to download create mod if you have any questions and comments you can always put them in the comments tab and thank you for watching I'll see you in the next one.